180. The area is 0.3, meaning that for the data, approximately 30% of the data is going to be between 6 and 9. That's the point. That's probably worth saying again. If you're falling asleep, focus. Okay? The area is the answer for the approximate percentage. When you've got a density curve that models a histogram well, which you can only know by graphing the histogram, by the way, right? Make graphs before doing calculations. You'd only know that this is a good model if you've made a graph of the histogram. The point is to calculate the approximate percent of data, percentage of data that's between two numbers, find the area under the curve between those two numbers as an approximation for the answer. That area, again, for this case, can be found by adding the areas of these two objects, this rectangle and this triangle, with some careful calculations by thinking about slopes. You can find these heights. That's the area of the rectangle, that's the area of the triangle, add them up. Right? It does take some thinking, so if you were zoning out, as I understand, if you are, it were because oftentimes I zone out, okay, think about it after class. It's important. This is a very important principle. For uniform distributions, the area is easy. It's always the area of a, of a rectangle. So the percentage of the data, for example, in this kind of situation that's between, say, 4 and 7, is the area under the curve between 4 and 7, which is the area of a rectangle. 4 to 7, the base is 3. 10 is the height. We're thinking of this as a percent already. 3 times 10 is 30. 30% would be the answer there. If this was a decimal form over here, this would be a 0.2, this would be a 0.1. The area would be 3 times 0.1 is 0.3, which if convert back to a, a percentage is 30% again. It's a hard concept, but it's really, really important for us. Okay? What are you going to need to do for your assignment? What's the other part of your assignment that you're doing electronically? After I show you this, then we'll take our quiz. Your other part of the assignment, I did not mean to do Excel. Sorry, Excel. He is going to be using this, this idea with Rand to make a new column. In fact, I'll show you what to do. That's the formula you're going to be doing, using 10 times Rand times Rand. In effect, equals 10 times Rand squared. Although I actually want to do it twice to sort of emphasize that the values of these two different Rands are being picked independently of each other instead of picking one value and squaring it. So those could be two different numbers as far as I know, as far as how the spreadsheet works. So here's how you type it. You equals 10 times Rand, parenthesis, parenthesis, times Rand again, parenthesis, parenthesis. To get random numbers between 0 and 1 again, hmm, I wonder if these are going to be distributed with a uniform or a triangular. Let's see what happens. Do it 500 times, copy and paste, click and drag until you get to row 501, which takes a little while. Actually, I think I won't go to 500 to save time. Then highlight everything, actually everything here except the first one's highlighted, so you need to read, well I guess the first one is, sorry. And go and insert a histogram, and lo and behold, it's neither, it's neither uniform nor triangular. Or maybe you'd call it a different kind of triangular. You should get something to this effect. Where is my Where is my insert? I lost it. There it is. It's a different kind of pattern. Most of the numbers are clustering the low values. You might spend some time thinking about why is that the case. But that's essentially what you're going to be doing for the second part of the electronic design. So two things to do. You can put them both in the same sheet, by the way, right next to each other. There's the standard deviation calculation with the table, and then there's this thing right here. 
which I just illustrated for you basically. Okay, okay except you do for 500 data points. And you can either save it as Excel or save it as a PDF. Though if it's a PDF, make sure all the data is there. All right, let's take the quiz.